What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to grip a board. Check it out. The skill level for this lesson is beginner. And the risk level for this lesson is high due to using the razor blade. For this lesson, it helps if you can buy professional quality skateboarding products from a local shop or a local company, like I'm using today. Use a screwdriver that fits your hardware bolt heads. Typically, this is an Allen or a Phillips head. Use a skate tool, like one of these shown here. Use a 3 8 socket or wrench, and use a box cutter or razor blade safely. Here are the things you guys should do. Buy quality grip tape that is at least one inch wider than the skate deck that you're going to grip. Buying perforated grip tape works easiest when learning to grip a board. Perforated grip means it has tiny little holes scattered throughout the grip tape to let the air bubbles out. Remember to cut any designs you want into your grip tape before you apply it to your skateboard. If you're a younger skater, have an adult help you out while you're learning. Here are the things you guys shouldn't do. I don't recommend buying colored grip tape as it's usually poor quality that doesn't last long or grip well. Don't let your grip tape stick to itself. This can ruin your grip tape, trying to unpeel it apart. Don't trip out. Gripping boards takes practice, and in time, I know you'll master it as well. Don't worry if you mess up. You can usually fix it. You can't ruin your new board, but you can ruin the grip tape. Here are the simple steps for gripping a skate deck. Lay your brand new deck on a clean work surface and lay your fresh grip tape next to it. If you want a design, Cut it out on a smooth, hard surface before applying it to your deck, and remove any pieces that are detached from the main sheet of grip. Set the extra design pieces aside to apply after you lay on your main sheet of grip. Lay your skateboard in front of you so the nose and tail are parallel with your shoulders. Now peel off the backing of the grip tape like a giant sticker. Hold each end of the grip tape long ways and hover it over top of your skateboard. Center the grip tape edge to the top of the deck edge and then pass over the board edge about a quarter of an inch with the grip tape. Look at the nose and tail and make sure they are covered equally and that you won't get shorted when you press the grip to the board. Once centered, very gently lay your grip tape down onto the top of the board, starting from the middle and work your way out to the nose and the tail so that it lays on top of the deck to check for fitment. Don't press on the grip tape yet. You should be able to see now if the grip tape is placed wrong or if it won't cover the nose and tail completely when you press it on. If you messed up, hold the deck down under the grip and pull the grip tape off hard and fast to remove it back off of the board. Do not pull slow on the grip tape to remove it. Grip tape can stretch like a plastic bag if you pull slow, which will ruin its shape. If your grip tape looks good and centered, continue to smooth out your grip, pressing down with your palms starting from the middle and work your way out to the nose and the tail. Now's the time to add any extra grip tape pieces that you cut out from your design before you applied your grip tape. After you smooth out the grip tape, check for air bubbles. Sometimes you have to look for them in the sun. To remove any air bubbles, just tap hard with a razor blade in the center of the bubble. Press the air out from the outside working your way in. Slice the grip at the four concave locations around the skateboard. Use a screwdriver or any rounded piece of metal to scrape the grip and outline the edge of your board. You can outline and scrape as much grip as you need to get a smoother, easier cut. Gently pry up the grip tape from sticking to the edges of the deck. You want to peel your grip tape up so that it lays flat over the top of the skateboard. This will help you make a nicer, smoother cut. Start at one of the concave locations that you sliced earlier and lift the excess grip tape out of the way. Make some room to lay your razor blade at a 45 degree angle against the side of the deck leaning into the top of the board. Lay your unused forearm down on the top of the middle of the board so it holds the deck in place while cutting the excess grip tape off of the board. Hold the excess grip with your unused hand and lean into your forearm as you cut with your strong hand. Slice towards yourself slowly, pull the razor blade towards yourself while you cut and keep the razor blade tight but level to the deck to avoid cutting into the wood. Start with cutting off both long straight edge pieces and then cut around the nose and the tail. Try to keep your 45 degree angle while cutting around the nose and the tail. This takes a little bit of practice. Remember to pull the excess grip tape out of the way so you get a nice clean cut. Once that's done, use some scrap pieces of grip tape and fold them in half. Use them to sand the edges of the skateboard all the way around your board. Personally, I like to do a few swipes across the top of my grip so it's not mega grippy when I start skating. 
Now use your hardware and push through the eight holes on the bottom of the deck. After you do that, I like to use a Phillips head screwdriver and clean the top of the grip holes to remove the excess grip tape for the hardware. Now push your hardware in through the grip tape side and install your trucks so your bushings can see each other. Make sure you install your trucks the correct way so that your front truck is on the nose side of your skateboard. When you look at your board sideways, the nose of your skateboard is typically a little bit longer than your tail. Once you install the trucks the correct way, now it's time to spin on the hardware nuts. Next, use a Phillips or Allen to hold the bolt head of your hardware. Spin the hardware nut tight with a skate tool or a 3 8 wrench or socket. Remember to hold the screwdriver in place and spin the skate tool or the socket and not the bolt. This will help you avoid stripping the bolt head. Tighten all eight hardware bolts until flush with the top of the grip. Good job, you're ready to skate. Pro tip for this lesson, after you assemble your new board, grip the trucks and roll slide your board back and forth to finish sand the nose and the tail on some concrete to prevent the grip tape from peeling off the nose and the tail while you're skating. Scrape off any excess grip tape with your thumbnail. Here are some tips to help you keep your grip tape fresh. Keep your skate shoes clean and avoid walking in any mud or dirt so it doesn't get ground into your grip tape. If your grip tape gets really dusty from a spot, compressed air at a gas station works best to blow off and clean your grip tape. If you don't have time for that, you can use the open palm of your hand and smack your grip tape hard and it'll take the dust off. If you do get mud or dirt on your grip tape, gently pry and lift any chunks off that you can and then blot it with a damp, warm towel. Try to clean it off as much as you can and let it dry in the sun. Grip it and rip it. <laughs> Remember that this is a channel, so we have many other videos to help you. Click the blue heart skate logo for more videos. Please share this channel with your friends or anyone who you think would benefit from it and they'll be sure to appreciate your consideration. We put a lot of time and love into making quality educational content for you weekly. We even upload them for free to help more people around the world. So please support us and send a donation to keep us alive and going. Donation details are below in the description box. Feel free to leave me any comments or represent your country, including any questions you may have, thoughts or ideas for future videos, and your thoughts and feedback about this video so I can continue to do my best to help you guys reach your goals. I hope you were inspired by this video and gained a better understanding of skateboarding. Please help support us and click that like and subscribe button to encourage me to make a new video for you every week. Thanks again for watching and be sure to meet me back here for more of your favorite skate park lessons. What? Wait, are you filming Josh's video right now? Yes. Wait for a motorcycle. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, no. All right, I'll call you back. All right, love you. Bye, Josh. Bye. <laughs> Run! Alright, go. Done! Done! You ready? Man. What? I am. I'm rolling. Push the back.